I've had the opportunity to use the Hayworth Fern extensively for over a year now. This is a chair that I wanted to love the moment it came out of the box. The look and design can only be matched by the highest end chairs from the highest end brands. It also has a ton of good things going for it when it comes to adjustability and comfort. While I wanted to love this chair, there are a couple things about our fern that made it uncomfortable for me to use. Luckily, we recently received a brand new fern chair with a slightly different configuration. Two of the changes were things that I thought would make a better chair for me, and the third was really surprising because this was the factor that put the fern over the edge, dethroning the steel case leap, and making it my new number one chair pick. From a build quality standpoint, the fern has held up very well. Even though it's been used a lot in the last year, it doesn't have any signs of wear or tear. The chair still functions very smoothly, and it only has a little bit of creaking that I've noticed when I recline the chair all the way back. But other than that, it hasn't developed any other annoying or awkward noises that make it difficult to use while I'm working. Quite possibly the most noticeable change in the last year is how much softer the seat has gotten compared to when it first arrived. When I first used the fern seat, I was surprised by how hard it was. The thick look of it makes it seem like it would be softer, but it takes several months for the foam to start to break in, and then it will soften up. It's not a huge difference, but it's definitely enough for me to feel the noticeable difference in comfort. I think the rest of the seat is solid. It has a spacious design with a little bit of flex to the front making it easier to stretch and move as compared to a lot of different chairs. The arms on the front are really good. My only complaint is that they do have a little bit more play than I would like, but to be honest, I'm being pretty nitpicky here simply because I'm comparing it to the Steelcase Leap and not many chairs feel as solid as that model. But I think the arm pads are comfortable and the adjustability is insane. Not only do you get four-way adjustment, but you get huge ranges on all of them. These arms can work for all sorts of different positions. The backrest is my favorite part about the fern. It is wildly flexible. It has the most flexible backrest I've ever used. Not only is it flexible, but it also has a skinny shape giving me even more room to move around, reach, stretch, whatever I want to do while I'm working. And the four layer system is super unique in that you truly do feel like you're floating on top of the backrest. The one thing I didn't like about the backrest on our original fern was the lumbar support. It's just way too aggressive for me and I can't use it and be comfortable. Our new fern does not have this added lumbar support. This change has made it so that the fern back went from unusable for me to one of my favorite backrests. The headrest is the second change we made on our new fern. Our original fern came with the height adjustable headrest. I really thought it was gonna be a nice headrest and I guess it is from a design and function standpoint. It just isn't very comfortable. The padding is super hard and I just can't use it. I also always suspected that the headrest took away from the movement of the backrest just because you had something rigid on top of the back. Our new model with no headrest confirmed those suspicions. I think the chair is much better without the headrest. It is no longer in the way, and the difference in backrest flexibility is very noticeable to me. I've liked the recline on the fern since the very beginning. I think this is one of the best synchro tilt reclines you're going to find on the market. It's super smooth and has a really large range, which I find to be great when I need to kick back, watch a video, or take a phone call. You also get five different tilt limiter positions and a responsive tension control, which I love. I hate tension controls that take 40 turns to do anything. The tension on the fern changes after only a couple turns. The backrest upholstery is the third and final difference between our original fern and the new one we just received. Our original chair had the standard mesh and our new chair has the digital knit. I must say that this is a pretty massive change for me. It's not that the mesh is bad, it's held up very well over the last year and I find it to be comfortable. I just think the digital knit is a pretty substantial upgrade. Not only is it less abrasive, but it gives the back a little bit of a padded feel, like a thin pillow you sink into a bit. I find it to be really comfortable and this was the final factor that made me say, yep, this is my new daily driver.